If Congress could say no um, TV and radio ads, could it also say no newspaper ads, no campaign biographies? Uh, the government's view is that although 441B does cover full-length books, that there would be a quite good as-applied challenge uh, to any attempt to apply 441B in that context. And I should say that the FEC has never applied 441B in that context. So for 60 years, a book has never been at issue. What happened to the overbreadth doctrine? I mean, I, I thought our doctrine in the First Amendment is if you write it too broadly, you, we're not going to pare it back to the point where it's constitutional. If it's overbroad, it's invalid. What happened to that? I, I don't think that it would be substantially overbroad, Justice Scalia, if I tell you that the FEC has never applied this statute to a book. To say that it doesn't apply to books is to take off, you know, essentially nothing from we this don't historic... Put our first, we don't put our First Amendment rights in the hands of FEC bureaucrats. Well, what, if, just... the particular, what if the particular movie involved here had not been distributed by video on demand? Suppose that... Uh, people could view it for free on Netflix over the internet. Suppose that free DVDs were passed out. Suppose people could attend the movie for free in a movie theater. Suppose the exact text of this was distributed in a printed form. Now, in light of your retraction, I, I have no idea where the government would draw the line with respect to the medium uh, that could be re uh, prohibited. Yes, well, n none of those things, again, are covered. No, but could they? Which of them could and which could not? I, I understand you to say books could not. Yes, I, I think w you, what we're saying is that um, there has never been an enforcement action for books. Nobody has ever suggested, nobody in Congress, nobody in the administrative apparatus has ever suggested that books pose any kind of corruption problem. So I think that there would be a good as-applied challenge with respect to that. So you're, you're a lawyer advising somebody who's about to come up with a book and you say, don't worry. The, FC, the FEC has never tried to send somebody to prison for this. This statute covers it, but don't worry. The FEC has never done it. Is that going to comfort your client? I don't think so.